Okay, sorry about that, guys. I think I passed out right as I started to scan this one. I slept for about four hours just now, so... Hey, hey puppy. Hey, puppy, puppy, puppy. Come here, baby, baby, penguin. <laughs> for those of you who don't know that line, watch Sense8. I don't care if you're homophobic or transphobic, you need to watch it, because it explains why you shouldn't be. It does a good job of it, too. Okay. Got a good puppy dog. I'm picking up something. It's like a satellite. Satellite detected. Good. Wasted a probe. Gee, damn it. Not gem it. Damn it, Janet. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Yay, beryllium. <clears throat> Sorry. A metal that's ideal for lightweight construction and a variety of applications. This deposit is readily accessible. Make sure I didn't accidentally unlock any new areas. Nope, I still only have those four clo those four st solar systems. So that's another thing I like about this series, right? You can explore your own solar system, whatever solar system you're in, the solar system of the government, and every solar system in the galaxy, actually that is of note in every game. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll, we'll find out. out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Switching to the Pathfinder models, they do slightly more damage. I don't have any mods. My power recharge speed is at minus fifteen percent, but hope we're all that ready. Gallo. My dog right. keeps attacking my hand. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board, spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh. Sorry. You okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No. 
I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like, hearing things. Other than And now my dog is standing on top of my head, trying to kick my earbuds out. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. She's so cute. It's so violent. Take us down, girl. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. <laughs> Probably 14 months, which is how long you've had downtime. Core is hot. <sighs> Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Set us down at this nav point. <laughs> yes, I am glad I chose pink and blue. Because it makes my character stand out. Boom. <laughs> and that rhymed slightly. Search Site One's main How control building. Start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EO's. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site one issued individual security codes. Each outpost self organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. Basically, if it's anything like Habitat 7, these wouldn't last it's screwed. But they didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make EOS a home. Got a code lock key. That should help get us in. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. It's kind of sad. Sporadic hypergrowth, despite an environment that can sandblast paint. functionality would require an active power relay station that means the antenna's out of power too the logs might tell us what's up with the power relay i got a partial log but i can't turn on the antenna something's blocking the power a remote lock is active the interference originates from a nearby power relay tower let's check out this relay tower Look at this place. 
It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a line on that signal. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? Here to I'm help. not a salvager. I'm a Pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. <coughs> tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Leave the Ket to me. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. You're crazy. Well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. These shield masts are protecting against the radiation, but they're wearing out fast. Look at the batch numbers. The outpost burned through a bunch of them. Pathfinder, there must be a scannable interface on the power pylon. The power pylon, not the shield pylon. Right. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Besides, do you see how good it looks with the shields, right? As it, like, whoosh. Okay, I'm, I'm just... Generator is active. Sam, a friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment, such as your weapons and armor. We've got company.
They weren't kidding about the cat. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Salvage. You buying some? Don't suppose you've got anything we can use? Ha! Ah! You're not eating my cables, Koo. You're not gonna eat my HDMI cable that's providing me with a screen to watch me play this game on while I'm recording. No, 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 you're not. Good girl. Come here. Come here. Get under the blankets. It's nice and warm under here. I turned the heat off last night, and I'm sorry. I just wanted to see if we could handle it, and we did. We survived a cold night. Or at least until now. So I'm probably going to have to turn the heat back on because it's almost midnight and the temperature is beginning to drop below freezing. And you are shivering. Arr, I'm so sorry, girl. Okay, fine. I'll go turn it back on. Okay, so. Here we go. Confirm trade. I profit by 150 and get two new weapons in my arsenal. Correct. Plus, I've located the okay. source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Hehe. <laughs> a warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on. We better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings.
Well, what do you know? The outpost research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. Try out the new pin design on the shelters today. Only time will tell if they actually hold together. When the next storm rolls over, at least, it should be easier to find the pieces this time. Pitching evac back to the Nexus. Too many cat, not enough water, no hope. I'd rather sell supplies and sleep on the deck and lie awake. Listening to the storms one more night. I'm lie awake. Okay. Can't say I disagree. Losing three of my guys to the cat made me wonder what about leaving two, but I asked him... Ask myself, what's back on the Nexus for Pioneers? Isn't EOS what we signed on for? It has to be. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. And you have won a new car! Ugh, sorry. I'm burnt. Pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Ugh, can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. I just run that over.
Jesus. Got it. Signals coming from that structure up ahead. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. See if there are any platforms leading to there. That way, I can find a way up. Yeah. I'll be able to interface, Pathfinder. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? <sighs> Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Back off, or I will put you down! We've got our Asari scientist! Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? We've got around a sorry scientist. Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just <laughs> be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh crap. <laughs> I know these things from Habitat 7. Later, just take them out. Keep targeting that one. They make a little bot. Not bad. 
My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like my name's better as PD. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and poof, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. <laughs> All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough? Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. That's on the yep, other side. Get in the nomad, Shinji. <laughs> Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you, and then... This time will be different. Right. This is our element. The person who left this behind, she was part of the first wave of colonists, wasn't she? The probability is high. This researcher may have left data pads at other remnant sites as well. Damn it, I was gonna get a stand. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Look there. 
That spot is shelter, water, stable ground. It was an issue. The Site 1 folks were interested in the monoliths, too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. Don't seem hostile. Appears to reconfigure panels that rise from the floor. That could come in handy. I'll need to use the interface that controls this. Getting better every jump. Okay, let's solve this thing. There we go. Got my field controls back. Finally. 
All right. So here's how the decryption has been working behind the scenes the entire time, but now we have to do it annually. failed, Pathfinder. Defense systems engaging. What do we have here? Nice work. Interface failed, Pathfinder. Defense systems engaging. It's basically Sudoku with fewer squares. Oh. Glad you're the one tapped in these. Damn it. Try this again. So, now that I know what I'm doing. There we go. Interface accepted. That did... whatever that did. I see pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. Can't drop ship. Seriously? Can't catch a break. We've got targets.
Is it just me? Or do cats seem to appear everywhere we find remnant tech? I was just thinking the same thing. Damn it. So close. I just know it. Once we get that linguist, we'll crack it. There's so much tech here. It has to help. Then I can see Carrie again. It's been a slow start, but we got this. We. Oh no. No! Damn it. The remnant aren't all bots and maybe blue skies. Stay careful. They were saving any data they could, in case it helped the next try. That's us. The next try is us. One more of these, and then I will have a bigger dungeon to deal with. Then Eos will be habitabish. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Trigger discipline, Costa. Stop riding me, Harper.
Let's do this! That looks like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. Won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Reinforcements, do they know we're here? Let's get to it before there's any more cat. Not here to cause trouble. So you say. Still haven't told me who you are. Ah. I'm the Pathfinder. Are you now? My name's Scott Ryder. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? Exploring. Checking out these monoliths? The cats seem pretty interested in this one. Looks like you cleared it out for us, though. You said I didn't save any for you? Nexus knows <laughs> shit about the cat. They think they're safe. <laughs> But they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now. <laughs> taking out cat bases, fighting ground troops. <sighs> I know what they can do. It's not pretty. No, it's not. 
You know, we could use a Krogan like you, Drek. I'm flattered, but do you have any idea how many humans I've watched die? Your meat is spoiled. <laughs> Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the cat keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the cat are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. Man. That's all I can say. He seems fun. Wonder if he's recruitable. I don't remember much from my last playthrough at all. Scanning will reveal the missing glyphs. Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. Haha. Uh -huh. One more to go. That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. The three towers. Monoliths are online and connected to something in the lake. This could be the master switch we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me. <laughs> 